fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. Well, a happy Friday to you and wanted to give you a look at the ski conditions because we've got some snow on the way. So this is going to be some great news for the area. Ski resorts peak and peak 12 to 24 inches uh, with a machine groom surface. Holiday Valley 4 to 20 machine groom surface. Halima and Mount Pleasant still plans to open this week. They've been making snow, but Mother Nature is going to provide some snow here as we go throughout uh, the weekend. So it was a windy Thursday as well. 31 miles an hour. That was the peak wind gust at the Jamestown Airport yesterday. And uh, some spots were a little more breezier than that, especially up towards Dunkirk near the uh, Lake Erie shoreline. Often is the breezier spot across the region, but the winds have died down for now. Now it turns into a lake effect event. We have a lake effect snow warning in place for uh, Chautauqua and Cattaraugus counties. This starts tonight and runs all the way through 1 a.m. or 1 p.m. on Monday. So this is going to be a long duration lake effect event. And as lake effect gets going, mainly tomorrow, that is really going to set the stage for some significant accumulation. So in terms of the impact, snowfall way up there at the high end of the scale, travel issues could definitely be possible. Uh, you know, if you're traveling to Buffalo for the uh, Dolphins game on Sunday, just allow for extra time because it likely will be a slow go on 90, 86 as well. If you're traveling uh, east or west on on the uh, Southern Tier Expressway as well. Blowing snow is not going to be too much of an issue, but it will be a little bit breezy. So maybe some of that fresh powder might be blown around when you get a brief wind gust, but at least it won't be too gusty. So here's the newest runner future scan. We are going to see a few light snow showers through the afternoon. It's the no big deal kind of snow. If anything, maybe a trace to about a tenth of an inch of new snow powder, if anything. We may catch a, a last of light lake effect snow coming in from the north towards the Buffalo metro area tonight by tomorrow morning. But here by tomorrow afternoon, notice the modeling points very well where that lake effect snow band stretches. Their darker blue indicates heavier snowfall rates, and we may even deal with thunder snow as well. Again, you know, we talk about it uh, all the time. Thunder snow is always indicative of heavy snowfall rates. You look outside and it's like a whiteout when you hear the thunder. Now the band will be jogging north and south, so by the time we go into Sunday, the band is likely going to settle across the southern tier and in the northwestern Pennsylvania. So again, watch for that. 86 will likely be a slow go as well as 62 down to Warren County will likely be another slow go as well. Now, here is something that we're keeping an eye on for Christmas Day because we're likely talking cold air coming in for Christmas. Notice this big dip here that is called a trough and that is going to be sending in much colder air from Canada. It's too early to put a number on it, but I think Christmas Day is going to be C-O-L-D. That's all I got for you so far. So the hour by hour forecast through the afternoon, the temperatures are not going to budge too much. We'll hover around the lower to mid 30s with a light snow shower at times. For tonight, mostly cloudy lake effect snow showers develop up to two inches on the highest hills, but the main lake effect snow band gets going tomorrow and cold 22 to 30 with a southwest wind 7 to 16. The ultimate satellite solution seven days. So Sunday, so a Saturday, Sunday and Monday, moderate to heavy lake effect snow squalls. We could be talking about 10 to 16 inches on the highest hills. The lower elevations will likely see less than that, but still enough to uh, snarl things out there. Now, we still are going to be dealing with a few scattered lake effect flakes Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week, but notice the temperatures going down into the mid to upper 20s, and that's below average for this time of the year.